Hello, hello out there in cyber world land. Is anybody out there? I wanted to play that song for you guys one day. I love that song by Pink Floyd. Anybody out there? Anyway, um, today is a beautiful day here in Florida. We have open studio today, but I think only a couple people are going to drop by. I hear it's absolutely beautiful weather for boating, and uh, that's what we do in Florida, unless you're me. And then we paint, because that's what I like to do. I like to do both. Uh-oh, my puppy is out here. Maybe we can catch a glimpse of him this time. Oh, Jangles. Bobo. Bobo. Come here. Come here. Say hi. Say hi, Bo. There he is. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Right here, buddy. See? Bobo. I don't know how to do it. I could turn it like this. There he is. Hi, Bo. He wanted to say hi. Anyhow, yep, he finally broke out and came out here. He's camera shy. Um. So, anyway... Today, we are working on butterflies, and oh, and I got some really cool stuff to show you, too. I don't know if I'm at 1 o'clock or if I'm early. I didn't look. Shh, shh. Go lay down now. Go on. Go on. Go lay down. He's trying to tell me somebody's probably out there, but if they come in, we'll get up and open the door. So... Hi, Kelly. I can always depend on you. What are we going to do when you have to go back to work? You're going to have to take your lunch break. But actually, to tell you the truth, you know what? Because I'm coming up to Minnesota, um, next Monday is our last day on this painting. And we're going to try something else new. So I won't be on every single day at the exact same time because we're going to be traveling. But I'm going to have a list of supplies for you. And you don't really need anything, Kelly, because... Oh, good, 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 good. Um, uh, you don't... Not good. I know you want to go back to work, but at least I still got gotcha. you. And um, we're going to um, we're gonna do the, some journaling. And I did... I, I, I had people email me and call me, and I talked to a lot, quite a few of you. And you all like the goddess idea. So... We're going to study 10 days of goddesses, and we'll see what we have in common with them. And a goddess is a really cool thing. A goddess is uh, a, a feminine deity, and they're, they, they have lots of different things about them and things that they do and, and the way that people followed them or looked up to them in a way to you know behave. There's more to it, but I'll have all that for you. Yes, so, Kelly... You are going to absolutely love this next thing I'm going to talk about. Mm -hmm. Remember this cute little candle that I bought at the start of this? And I think it's Soul Terra, S-O-U-L-T-E-R-R-A. I paid $30 and it was in a pyramid and didn't it came with a little plate it does come with a plain plate actually i use a plate for painting for a, a palette but it um um anyway remember we were supposed to burn it down and get to the bottom and when we got to the bottom what was going to be there any guesses anybody guessing crystals so we burnt it to the bottom yesterday and now you can see right through it and look what we have here. The coolest, coolest thing, after I broke it all apart, we got a crystal. Is that not cute? cool? This candle was 30 bucks. And this is a pretty big crystal for 30 bucks. I couldn't even believe it. And it sits nice and flat, so it can sit right on my little shelf by my computer. And it has a rainbow inside side, which is really cool. You can almost see it in the sunlight here. Would well, they call that something? I don't know what it is. If anybody knows, please type it in. But anyway, it is the best. I was so happy. Then I dig further and I find this beautiful stone. 
it's flat on one side. And I think it might be a agate of some sort. It's polished and it would perfect. You know how much money you pay for these stones and for jewelry? It's perfect. Leanne, I was gonna call you today. You know, I'm, go I'm gonna be sitting in the studio all afternoon if you wanna come over. Hop in your car. You could be here lickety split. The only thing is, is I was gonna go pick up Nancy maybe, but she didn't call, cause, so she's probably driving herself. Anyway, there we go. And nobody else is coming except until three o'clock. Somebody's coming to work on their clay. So Leanne, look at this stone for jewelry, completely flat in this, in that candle, that candle we were burning till we found crystals. Think you popped on after. We got a crystal in the bottom. We got a really super, super cool stone. We got two super, super cool stones made perfect for jewelry. Flat on one side. What do they call these? Cabochons. It's a cabochon. I don't know what kind it is. I haven't looked it up yet, but it's going to make a great ring. I know, or a pendant. I think I'm going to make a ring out of this one, a pendant out of this one, and then, and then, then, guess what else? A shark's tooth. A really nice big shark tooth. It is so cool. I got to break away the, um, I still, I'm going to have to heat that, I think, because I don't want to break the tooth. Anyway, well, we're not going to break the tooth because this is too cool. That'll make a great necklace for my grandson. Or one of them. I got two grandsons. One of them will get it. I think it's just so cool. 30 bucks. 30 bucks for that, and look at what I got and the surprises I got out of it. I'm totally gonna do this for Christmas presents next year. I'm gonna make candles, and I'm gonna hide things in them for all you guys. And that way, you'll have a surprise. Your surprise is the is at the bottom of the candle. So, yeah, what well, we're gonna have, there, um, Winona and Jack are coming to work on their stuff at three o'clock, Nancy's coming. And then we're gonna have a little happy hour. So if you wanna come, Leanne, just come on, pop in. We're, um, we're just gonna have a cocktail glass of wine and a, maybe some pizza or something like that, I don't know. But in Minnesota, they're having, Kelly, did you hear? They're having a get together, it's for Gail's birthday. Um, I don't know, I, if I was supposed to put it out there, if I was, I didn't. She's uh, Gail and Julie's birthday celebration today at four o'clock at the old schoolhouse. So you'll want to go, and I'm going to surprise everybody with pizza. So I'm trying to find a place that'll deliver it, but I can't find any place that'll deliver it, so it might not be a surprise. Anyhow, so I wanted to show you, we're in the outside studio today, and I wanted to show you why we're in the outside studio, because I'm multitask, multitasking. I am woman, I can do it, right? I can multitask. I can do 10,000 things at once. After all, I raised two children, lots of dogs, lots of husbands, and lots of grandkids. So, oh, Kelly, you didn't know? See, everybody's supposed to know. Well, I should have put the word I asked. I asked Glory if she wanted me to put the word out. And I thought, I don't know if we got mixed up on that. Anyways, it's just an impromptu thing of uh, yesterday, last night or something. But oh, they have been having open studio and every Thursday. So keep that in mind. As soon as you can walk and stuff, you could, you know, well, I suppose you can't walk because that's why you can't go to work. But anyways, I hope you're healing up really quickly. I am healing up. I'm on an antibiotic, I told you yesterday, and I hope you can't hear me breathe anymore. Everybody was like, oh, you're wheezing. And I'm drinking chicken noodle soup and I'm feeling fabulous. Okay, so I wanted to show you how we're multitasking. We're working in clay today and we're doing our painting. So we have several people that have been over here this last week working on their projects and I'm gonna take you and I'm gonna show you what they're working on. All right, so we'll start over here. There's an angel and it's going to be a mosaic wall hanging it is very very large i would say it's three feet by four feet when all is said and done 
or three and a half by three feet. And it is going to be, can you see it all? Tell me if you can't. And then we have someone working on a stepping stone right here. Can you see that? Wait. That is a stepping stone for their garden. It's a butterfly. It's done in stoneware, so it's perfectly safe to be outside. Also, the um, angel is done in stoneware, but she is going to keep it in her home. The black wings were supposed to be gold on the angel, but they um, <laughs> we fired it like five times, and they never turned gold. So she's going to have to paint them with gold leaf or something. We have somebody over here working on another mosaic. It is a crane, and it is probably about three feet by three feet or so. So, and it's going to be for out, it's an outdoor wall hanging. It'll be outdoors. And then I am working on a two dimensional wall hanging, and it's a bird. Can you see the bird? So, it, I was inspired by Be a Bird. So I'm making myself a be a bird to hang outside also when you come up to my door by my doorbell. Anyway, we'll watch the progress of that because that'll be done in the next couple of days and it'll be fired. Hopefully before I have to head back to Minnesota. But when we head back to Minnesota, it's only for a short time and we'll be traveling um, by a motorhome. So we still can do these lives. But we're going to do work in a journal instead of a big painting because it's kind of hard and bumpy when you're, you know, driving along. And not guaranteeing either ex what time. I mean, earlier than one, I think, because it's one o'clock. Well, if I'm in the bus, who cares? We call it a bus, but it's a motorhome um, because we're busing puppies and dogs all over all the time. But we only got one dog now. And you met him right at the beginning of this little thing here so anybody doing anything today anything new anybody want to share anything anybody got a class coming up anybody got uh anybody go to the gym anybody well tammy you're probably still cleaning come to my house i need you here we're glad to have you too jet really this is nice and i'm really glad you guys tune in because if I didn't have you to look at on here and talk to, then I'd be talking to myself, which I do, but shh, don't tell anybody. See, you're always cleaning Tammy. Will you move in at our house? Just think. I wouldn't have to do anything, and you would have all the fun cleaning and doing laundry, because that's what you like to do creatively. Yeah, I hate all those things. So... I thought today that we should probably add some of those butterflies. You know, we've been um, we've been pulling them every day, and we haven't really done anything with them yet. So, well, Kelly, you're supposed to be sitting with your feet up. Kelly says she's sitting with her feet up, and that is exactly what she's supposed to be doing. So good for you. You're listening to your doctor, which I wouldn't do. Yeah, I get a problem with that, too. I also don't take my medicine either. That's, that's why they said I never got over my being sick last from last fall. So I thought I would just, you know, Google some butterflies, copy them, just for inspiration because I'm going to paint the butterfly, but you could cheat. No shame in the game. You could cut this butterfly out and, st you know, we should do that anyway, just to see if it works. Let's do it real quick here. Oh, I didn't bring a scissors out. Hang on. Okay, sorry. We'll just stick it on. And you could just, you know, cut them out, stick them on with your Mod Podge, like stickers. I think that would work out really nice. Or you could paint in our little quotes. You all have the quotes, access to the quotes. And so when we're gonna do our journaling, I'm gonna give you a list. Some of you weren't on, oh. Um, 
I'm gonna give you a list to get your journal, your, you know, your art journal or journal, however you wanna do it together. Everything can be got, bought at the dollar store or out of your own house, in your house. You might even have some supplies. And we are going to spend 10 days studying goddesses. So I have been working on picking the goddesses to study. So if there's any of your favorite ones, let me know. And it's, we're gonna, you're gonna get a, a printout, a PDF printout on the website or on our Facebook thing that you can print out or just read about the goddess that we're gonna study. And then we're going to, um, we're gonna draw her on our inner sketchbooks and learn a little bit about her and learn what her symbols are and who she is. And I'm gonna show you some really great techniques for transferring photographs and things. That is, you know, you could call it cheating, but I call it no shame in the game. So, or Gloria does. So keep that in mind. We got that coming up. We'll start that next Tuesday. But I won't be on the road yet, but we'll start it then. So that'll give us a good chance. All right, we're going to see how this thing works out. We're just going to put this little butterfly right up here. Can you see? Good. And we'll just, this way, that way, or this way? How about that way? How about like that? Betty, are you in the warm weather somewhere? I think you are. I, I gotta say I'm really excited to go back and see my friends and my family, but I gotta tell you, I am not excited going to the cold. I, as I get older, I don't like the cold as much. We had a lot of fun last year because we were, oops, that moved that right out of the way. We were snowmobiling and everything with the kids, but we didn't get a chance to go up there this year. So for that, anyway, which is a bummer. Okay, now you can kind of see that kind of stands out like a sore thumb a little bit. Don't you agree? Now it's stuck on here. Do you think it stands out like it's fake? Okay, well, we're gonna fix that. Just as easy as can be. I'm going to take a brush and I'm just gonna put a little bit of black on the brush. I'm going to scruffy it off, like, you know, with the dry, now we got a dry brush. We're gonna put an outline. And we're gonna blend that little baby right into into the background you're not even going to know that it was a cutout we can even get more creative we could take some of that modeling paste and oh we can't do that because it's white because i don't have a clear modeling paste yeah, we'll do that with the other, because otherwise it'll stick out. But, okay, everybody see how that blended right in there? It's not sticking out like all fakey anymore. I know, and I will be back by the, Leanne. Leanne's talking about the jewelry class. We're going to have a jewelry class here, and we've got uh, the jeweler from one of the, um, from a, one of the local, Art Studio is going to come right here to our art studio and um, teach us how to make bangle bracelets. We're going to make a bangle bracelet. So, oh, it does look 3D. Oh, it's flat. Maybe because it's it's a print and I didn't paint it. That's, uh, Jet was asking, I'm going to, you know, if what I did with the butterfly. I mean, if I made it look 3D. But it was just, I shaded in that black and then it made the butterfly right around the outside and then it made the butterfly pop. See, easy peasy. Nobody would know it either. And let me show you, we're gonna paint one real quick. So let's see, what should we paint it? I'll get my little bit of inspiration out here and set that here. And, cause we can't go as long as yesterday. But none of you guys were telling me what time it was. So I had no bosses. 
Not that you have to be my boss, but you know what? I'm just going to put a little bit of orange all over it. And I actually am going to, should I leave the words? I wonder if I put some of this modeling paste and orange if it makes it. Oopsie, oopsie, see? <laughs> oh, Kathleen. That's what Mark always calls me, Kathleen. He calls me Kathy too, not Kate. And I hate it when he calls me Kathy because he's always Kathy. What'd you do with that? And then I always know I'm in trouble. Now I didn't go with it completely orange. I just kind of put it in, you know, left some shading. But what we are going to have to do for time is we're going to have to dry this thing. You know, if you didn't see from the beginning, it came in late, rewind this because I showed everybody the, um, what everybody was working in in clay. And actually my bird that I'm working on in clay, I am just, I'm going to paint it with what they call an underglaze. And it's like a liquid clay, but it's colored. So it'll be just like painting a ceramic piece when I'm done. Or like, remember the old fashioned ceramics? You painted them with paint, but I'm gonna put an underglaze on them and then fire them again and then glaze them. So probably a couple times I might paint them. I don't know, I can show you. It's really fun. And the jewelry making is really fun. And then at this point, you know, if, if this was drier, I might wanna draw in my little lines. But we're just going to make a little monarch here. And we're just going to, oh no, I was going to do something different. I was going to, I was going to make it flying. That's what I was going to do. Ooh, I think I need them to put more orange on. I hope this isn't like watching paint dry. <laughs> it is watching paint dry. <laughs> oh, that's one thing, you know. It takes a little time. Anyways, when you're, you won't be so, for those that are still kind of scared to grab a big old canvas, you won't be so scared with, in a little journal. It's easy, easy. Okay, I folded it because I decided that it was going to go right here and it's going to sit right on top of that flower. And I decided to go with this inspiration and it's a monarch. Now you, you can always trace it or I'm just gonna wing it. Did I say that? <laughs> My grandma used to always tell me, Kate, just wing it. I always wanted to have, name what, a company that I would have, just wing it. Or my biggest dream that I haven't accomplished yet, but I am going to, is, is I always wanted to have, a, I still want to design clothes. I want bohemian wear, wear or bohemian style. And I, I have a, king and queen chair that we used to have in our theater. It's really just a prop that I've been saving and saving and saving for the day that I have the clothing shop. And should I tell you what I want to name it? Shh, don't tell anybody. It's going to be called the Empress's New Clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I even saved the domain name. But I haven't gotten there yet. So one of these days, one of these days, I'll start sewing again. Just as, I don't know, I'm just having so much fun with making empresses on canvases that I just, I don't know. What does everybody like to paint? Anybody like anything special? Hi, Shannon. Shannon's my daughter's friend. How nice to see you. 
you know, if I don't say hi to you or if I miss you somewhere along the line, it's because this clicks, it, because it clicks off. Your comment is made and then it disappears. And if I'm not watching it right at that moment, you're gone. Anyhow, Shannon, if you're still on, you should have your kids watch some of this. We have a lot of kids that are painting along with us. They're back in school now. When we started this, they weren't in school, but they're back in school. And they're still, they come home and they watch it. Their parents tell me, and then they paint along. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad that they're enjoying it, you know. That's what it's all about. When I have my grandkids around, they are in the studio all the time. Actually, I got to tell you, well... I don't know how many paintings Zoe has because she does it down at the schoolhouse, but Emily has about 20 in her room. So, and here we go. How's that look? Does it look a little like a monarch? Then we're gonna go back in here. And sometimes I get all nervous when some of you are watching. <laughs> I think, oh no, am I doing it right? Because we got a lot of artists on here that really know what they're doing. I'm just winging it. There, I said it again. So, Wiz, guess what? Remember over the weekend that artist we interviewed? I'm making a clay piece from his bird. And I'll show you at the end. It's at the beginning. I showed everybody at the beginning. But you weren't on, so I'll put that. Monarch. It's just like that. It's not perfect, Monarch. Like I showed you how to do perfect. Just cut it and paste it on. Sorry about this. Any questions? Somebody's got to have a question. All right, there we go. I'm gonna show it, Wiz, if you're on. See, that? there's one right there making a clay. I don't really know who Wiz is. I do know who Wiz is, but it could be one of several people, at least a, a couple of people and a four-legged person. If we could get the four-legged person to paint, that would be so cool, wouldn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna grab a little more. I'm gonna get some more of this matte medium. And when you're painting your butterflies, I just had fun. I just grabbed a whole bunch of colors. Just whatever I felt like. Not a, no rhyme, no reason. So we're gonna put plant this butterfly. Where do you think? Tammy. Where should I put the butterfly? I was thinking on top of this here. Um, you can go in here, but I got a butterfly back there that we're going to be drawing out here. And eh, we'll put it there. Right on the tip. Oops. So what's everybody else up to today? I know a lot of people are out voting. Not me, not my husband, because we don't have a boat. I want one that's on my list. Yep, on the flower right there. Okay. Then we're gonna go over and put some of this on to push it down. There we go. How's that look? Then we're going to go back in here with our paintbrush and a smaller little brush. And we're just going to put a little head and a body. 
And I think they have antennas, right? Ooh, we need a really skinny brush for an antenna. Here we go. They're kind of big antennas. With that, I might have to come back here and take off a little tape. Well, they can have big antennas, right? There, that's a little better. Maybe I just need to make its head bigger. You know, and then you just ask your painting, what is it that you want? Oops. What do you think? Any questions? What time is it? Do we have time to do one more? Does anybody have any questions about any of these processes? Because I can certainly um, do them all over again. Or we can do them in our journals as we're going along. But you're going to be so surprised when we put the gloss varnish on. It's just going to, everything is going to, the colors and everything are just going to pop. And we still have to tell our story. We still have to... I was thinking about it this morning. Should I do a poem? Anybody else want to tell a story about how they came about and who these people are? We're getting lots of flowers. We're getting a lot, uh, the night and the day. You know, lots of, do another? All righty. We'll do another butterfly. Did you come in late on our cheater butterfly? The one we... We cut out and just glued on. That was the cheater butterfly. Well, we, let's see. You know what I should do with the cheater butterfly? I'm going to do this. Put a tennis in a head and a body. I love butterflies. Love them, love them, love them. They're so pretty. There we go. Can everybody see now? It really looks... It's going to drip. There we go. Little butterflies flying in the wind. All right, we'll do one more butterfly. Um, Let's see, the monarch. That's the hardest butterfly to do. So I already did the hard one. What color? What color? Come on, this is your painting. What should we do? Should should we put one right here on her shoulder? In here, just kind of offset it. No? Down here on the bottom? Blue. Right here? Okay. All right, we'll do blue because I have some... How about if we do teal blue? Or should we do regular? Laura, you're late. Shame on you. Gloria and them are all looking for tickets in uh, March. So if anybody wants to come, because Laura's going to be here the whole month of March. And whenever Laura's around, it's great fun. Same rules apply as they do in the studio. I just want you guys all to know, when you guys stayed um, up in the studio until 4, 5 in the morning, I was just getting up. You guys were silly. They were dancing till like 4 in the morning and singing. This color blue, Tammy, is that okay or should I add a darker blue? I do have a little darker blue. Oh, Laura was having lunch with her um, right here. But I'm going to fill it in more. That's perfect. It's really going to pop out there. Um, Laura was having lunch with her daughter. How nice. My daughter is too busy for me working. Her old mama doesn't even get to see her. 
But guess what? She'll be here Saturday. All righty. Let's see. We're going to add dark blue. So I'm going to put some here. Laundry. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not having to do laundry. Actually, to tell you the truth, I did laundry yesterday. And I cleaned my closet this week. So I guess I am ahead of the game. Can you guys all see? I just thought I'd make... Do a couple two-tones. Oh, you know what? I'll show you how to make those dots again. Tammy, your sister didn't come here today. She was naughty. They're supposed to be here as promised. Remember I said we were having special guests? Nope. Guess what they're doing? First one that gets that gets the guest gets the kiss. So we're gonna take the end of this paintbrush because it's got a little flat end. And we're gonna make black dots. Can you guys see if we, usually I have it up. Let's see. You know what we're gonna do? I would normally paint all these and then put them on, but we're gonna put them on. So back into this. Uh, I think I kinda like it going that way because the other butterfly is going that way. What do you guys think? So Laura, where'd you go for lunch? What'd you have? Did you have oysters? I know, there you get the kiss, Tammy. She is on the boat. That's what I told you guys. That's what everybody does here. I guess they golf in Arizona and they boat in Florida, right? Okay, now you can see it. I go back in, get some black, and then I'm just gonna take and hold my hand, rest my hand here for steadiness, and we're just gonna go right around. We're having some friends over tonight, so for some pizza and some wine, we ended up going out to dinner last night. Hooters. Anybody been to Hooters lately? Let's see. Toddler drama. Oh, he's so adorable. Jet's got, she's got a little guy at home. Just a little one. You know, that's the thing. Once you go live on this, you can't take it off. So it's here. You know, here for all my ramblings and my fool making of myself. There's no removing it. So I don't want to say anything really stupid. Well, I do anyway, but who cares? So today, they're celebrating some friends in Minnesota's birthdays. Anybody got a birthday coming up that we can celebrate here? Hmm? I would really in the mood for a birthday celebration. All right, we got to put it. How's this? And then when this dries a little, I might put a little wash over it. Yeah, that's it. That's it, and then now all we gotta do is put a little body on them. Rest my hand for steadiness. You know, one of the gals that I watch live, Astarte, Astart, Astart, Sarah, or Sarah, um, she was talking about dreams. And we were talking about dreams in the early on when, and I was wondering if anybody's been dreaming anything good or if you've been dreaming about our creations that we're making here. 
you've been thinking about it. Anybody have any dreams? Anybody want to share a dream? Please, you know, you can come back and share it later, too. So, I had a dream and I remembered it all. Oh, yeah. It was the weirdest dream last night. I was being led. There was a vision of somebody, a guy. And he was standing in front of a garage with a carved moose on the front. And then he panned over, my dream panned over to a kind of an old rundown house, but I think it was a Frank Laurie Wright home. And it was on a river. And then all of a sudden there was like a golf course by it. And then they were going to take me to go look at it. Like, you know, I think I've been talking about too many houses and Tony Robbins. And then we were traveling to go look at it and I woke up. I guess I'll have to find out what happened in it tonight in that dream. Easy, an easy element. See how easy that is? I wish that, you know, those are gonna take a while to dry. So tomorrow I'll have to show you how we're gonna shade it a little bit so it doesn't look so like we're gonna add a little more color in, in there so it's not so bright. I mean, it will still be just as bright. But now we've got three, and you know, we're on day 16. So we're gonna end up, should we put all 16 in? That's gonna be a lot. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. 20 of them would be an awful lot of butterflies. Maybe smaller ones, maybe some moths. Or count the dragonflies as butterflies. I don't know. Hmm. So anyway. That's it. That's it. We did some butterflies today. Tomorrow we will be doing something in here. I just really don't like, I, I'm thinking poppies. I think I really like poppies and I'm thinking of paper poppies. Like the paper poppies that you get from the, on the, in the, for, is it Veterans Day? We could be honoring What's a poppy? Got it right here. What's a poppy um, stand for? If anybody knows, let me know. All right. Well, we're thinking about that. We are going to draw a butterfly. So let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, I like this one. Release from the past. You will blossom in the future. So... Um, Perfect, isn't it? Release from the past, you will blossom in the future. Love it. All right, so we'll put that on the website. I just figured out why I couldn't post on the website. You know what? The heart thing is really cool. Thank you. I like to see those little hearts pop up. Um, go, though, if you're not on Visionary Woman, you might want to go on Visionary Woman and hit follow us. So, um... So, cause then you really get more information than just on my page. And um, I figured out why they weren't posting. So we're all set with that. So everything will be posted on Visionary Woman and you will get the PDF for making your, getting your supplies for your journal. And I think that's it. That's all for today. That's it, easy peasy. So anyway, everybody have a good day. Let me know if you have any questions. Give me a holler. Text me. Message me. Come over. Call me. I love to talk on the phone. All righty. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Hi, Gloria. I see you're just on now, too. And it's too early for you to be at the schoolhouse. But I did tell them about this uh, about today. And um, and Kelly didn't know. So, um, I don't, you know. But you can go back and rewatch. That's what this is all about. It's, you know, you just rewatch it. Uh. You know, oh, forever and ever and ever it's out there. Ah, yikes. Oh, someday I'm going to really be embarrassed. <laughs> Good thing I'm not young and looking for a husband or something. All righty. Have a great day, everybody. I'm sending you tons of loves and hugs and prayers for healing for anybody who's sick or down or depressed or anything like that. All righty. Well, gee, that's okay because I was, you told, wait. Before we hang up, Gloria, you I think you told me to put the I should tell everybody that you were gonna be there and then I did it. 
So it's my fault. I forgot. Sorry. You know, I'm old. So anyway, send in my love. See you later. All right. Bye-bye.